Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle, Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System. And not long ago I did a, a video on where to stand in the batter's box. And that was in relationship to the front part of the plate or farther back, fast pitcher versus slow pitcher. Watch that video if you want to get an idea of that. But with that video, I got a couple of comments, and one specifically that said, hey, I liked your video, but it didn't do anything for me because I'm looking in relationship to how far away from the plate I need to stand. And again, it's a personal preference, even to the fact that where if I want to stand in front of the plate and give the pitcher a little more advantage, or I want to back up here to see the ball longer, this is a personal preference for people and where you're going to hit the ball. But one way to start this off is to take your foot, and we're going to show the angle here, but you're going to take your right foot, if you're a right-handed batter, it would be opposite for a left-handed batter. You're going to put the toe right to the inside edge of the plate. Then you're going to take your other foot, toe to heel, and then you just step back, get your stride distance, and then just kind of check yourself with a no-stride swing. Do I still feel comfortable? And it may be that way on an inside pitch. You feel like, oh, I'm still a little too close. Then back up away from the plate about an inch at a time until you get to that comfort level and go, yeah, this is where I like to be. Now, let me stop here for a second. This has nothing to do whether you're looking at hitting the outside pitch. And the whole idea of trying to reach out with the end of your bat and cover the plate and all that, it doesn't really apply as much. I think that's more of a thing we get when we get in Little League. Can I reach the outside of the plate? I should be able to cover it. But remember, we don't swing like this. When we get ready to hit that outside pitch, we're just flexing this direction. So you'll still be able to cover the plate up here to hit to the right side. More importantly to you is you're trying to get that comfort level of how far away from the plate do I need to be. And again, I actually learned that from a 12 year old player. That's how after me explaining, get a comfortable distance away from the plate, set yourself up to your stride, then move back. He was coming up, foot, stepping back. And he would sometimes go back about a half an inch. So again, it's a personal preference of how far you want to be from the plate. But there are some general guidelines. Somewhere between 8 and 11 inches is typically the distance as close as you want to be and basically as far as you want to be. But some might be 12, 13, 14 inches depending on length of bat and what pitch they might be looking for at that time. Hope this helps you out. Check out our other videos on YouTube. Subscribe to us and then look us up on Facebook and give us a like there.